Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I thought I'd do a uh, video on what license you should buy for Reaper. Um, a lot of people are confused by that. Um, it's kind of an honor system thing also, and it's a little bit confusing. Uh, so uh, let's go through it real quick. So you go to the Reaper page and you'll note that there are two different licenses you can buy. The discounted license for $60 and the commercial license for $225. If we go up to the top of the page, it says you may use a discounted license if you are an individual and Reaper is the on is only for your personal use or you are an individual or business using Reaper commercially and yearly gr gross revenue does not exceed $20,000 or you are an educational or nonprofit organization. So what that tells me, the easiest thing there to figure out right now is, are you an individual just using it for a hobby? You're not making any money off of it. You pay, you would pay the discounted license unless you, you wanted to buy the full commercial license uh, just because you felt that, that the money would go towards developing the software. So that would be your own personal decision to go up there. If you're an educational or nonprofit, you would buy the $60 license, the discounted license. Uh, because that's you're included in that and a lot of companies a lot of software companies give discounted um, licenses um, for educational and nonprofit so that's very nice that they do that um, now the other thing that you want to consider real quick we'll go down to the fine print down here just to get this out of the way if you own multiple computers you may install the same license key on all of them as long as you only use Reaper on one computer at a time. Uh, that's usually the case for that. Um, so what that's saying is if you, you have a personal desktop and a laptop, you can load it on both of them because you're probably not going to be, you, you're probably not going to be using them on both at the same time if they're just your personal computers. Where you would run into trouble with that is if you had a small business and you loaded it onto five computers and more than one person was was using um, Reaper at the same time, then you would have to get additional licenses in a case like that. So the other thing is it says we also offer classroom licenses and discounted to commercial license upgrades um, for all these and any other license needs, please email licensing at cocos.com. Cocos.com is a company that makes Reaper. So if, if, even if you're educational or nonprofit and you have like a um, computer classroom, uh, you, you may be able to get like a site license or a volume license for that or a discount for that. Uh, the same is true probably if you have a commercial license and you want a thousand commercial licenses, you might want to email them and see if you can get so even though you're supposed to be paying 225 you may be they may give you a rate off of that for um volume licensing um the main thing you've got to be careful of is should you have a commercial license uh if you're making money off of it um so also it says discounted commercial license upgrades which i assume also means like so, so say you buy the discounted license and you're you you start you, you you make a million dollars off a song which is great you should then upgrade your license to the commercial license in that case so you may want to talk to them about that or at least when you get the next version you you, you want to go up to the commercial license in that case so if you're making um if you're making money off of it that's when you really have to consider going up to the commercial license and uh in this case it says the yearly gross revenue does not exceed twenty thousand dollars that's a gray area and so if you're if you work for a multinational company that employs tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people uh and they want you to do a project and you want to do it on reaper you may want to get them to buy a commercial license for you to use at work for 225. That would be fair because they're making a lot of money, uh, and uh, they can afford that license. That license money goes back to the development of Reaper, and everybody benefits from that. 
if your company's smaller or you do one project and you're using your own copy of Reaper, um, and you kind of, uh, that's a gray area. I would say if you were just doing it like a one-time thing and you already had a license of it, I wouldn't worry about it. If it's a regular thing, you probably want the company to buy a commercial license of it for you. Most companies are going to make a revenue over $20,000. But the, 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 the thing to consider is, is that yearly gross revenue, do you count just money you're making off of Reaper or how do you count that? Because there's different ways to count it. If you're using it for advertising, the company is making money off of that. So they are, there is a revenue of that. Um, if you're directly making money off of it um, and they're m making over $20,000 a year, um, that's also another consideration but there are things where if you were working on a single project and it's not something you regularly do probably the discounted license is going to be okay for you um you can always buy the commercial license it's going to help them with development and such so those are things to con those are things to consider um so if you're not making any money at all it's just for a hobby your educational or your nonprofit organization that's that's clear cut um, if you're using it for commercial things, probably want to buy the commercial license for it as, as well, uh, as I said. Uh, they're not, I don't think, like if you already, if you paid the $60 and you do something at work for your company using your copy, I don't think that's what they're talking about. Like you do one project on that. I, I don't think they're going to make, they're, they're not going to track you down to make you pay the two twenty five. dollars uh, th that th doesn't seem like th their kind of thing to do. So y you don't have to worry about it in that case. But if you're regularly working at work on it, you should get a license at work that's 225 and probably have your employer pay for that as opposed to that. If you're doing a little bit of side work and you're creating stuff for YouTubers um, and, and you're not making over $20,000 doing it and then you're getting maybe, maybe you make $200 a year say using reaper they don't want to take your money i don't think i, I think uh, i mean they want the 60 dollars, but they don't want the 225 just because you made a little m money over uh as far as that goes so i hope that helps and if you have any questions if you get in a gray area which is pretty easy to get into you, you can always email licensing and cockos just to get kind of the definitive thing but the things i've seen on the internet where they actually answered the stuff they pretty much i think pretty much goes with what i've said uh and uh most of you probably if you're just doing it as a hobby um the 60 dollars is going to work for you if you really start to make money at it you then then you, you're going to have to really look at it to see if you're you go over the level of the twenty thousand dollars and you know what i hope you have to buy it the commercial license because that means you're doing really well with it so um so that's a good thing if you have to pay the 225 certainly if you want to go ahead and pay the 225 they're not going to stop you a lot of times when i buy software i go ahead and buy a commercial license if it's in the vague area just so that i you know just so i know if i go if i I break their rule I'm still kind of covered by it commercially and it depends on the software in this case you have um, they give you latitude to a certain extent I'm Mungo Dark Matter and this has been Dark Matters and whatever you do enjoy the day and I will see you soon don't forget to like share and subscribe